As a business owner, chances are you want to grow and scale your business. As an entrepreneur, chances are you want to grow and scale your business. Virtually every business owner and or entrepreneur that I know wants to grow and scale their business. That's what they talk about all the time. Now, in your pursuit of trying to grow and scale your business, chances are that you've come across the 10x movement. You know, you got to 10x your business. And if you have, you know, it's probably either motivated you or demotivated you. For a lot of people, it's motivated them. So they, you know, there are books about it, there are podcasts about it, there are conferences about it. I've read a bunch of them and I, you know, it's motivational. I totally get that. But for the vast majority of people, it actually doesn't work very well and it doesn't help them grow and scale their company faster. And my argument today is going to be that if you were to choose a different target instead of 10xing, you would choose the target of 2xing. That you would actually get where you want to go farther and faster than you would by trying to 10x. And if that intrigues you, then I want to encourage you to listen intently because I'm going to give you a couple of reasons why it doesn't work and why 2x is a much better choice for you. And if you were to 2x your company, that it would begin you on the journey to getting past 10x. So if that intrigues you, listen intently. Now, there are two basic caveats I want to give you before we jump into this. First of all, I do want to say that um, if the idea of 10xing motivates you, inspires you, you should just keep going with it. I don't want to disparage you from going after 10xing anything. I don't want to disparage anyone in the 10x movement. I think it's a great movement. I'm going to suggest that it's not good for the majority of people, but it, if you're one of the subset of people that it works for, you should go for it. Uh, one of the things I learned in my old pastoral days was that I never want to design a message for a small group of people, right? If you've got a thousand people in a room, why talk to 10 of them when you can talk to 900 or a thousand of them, right? So you want to talk to as many people as you can. And for the majority of people, 10xing doesn't work. And I'm going to explain why in a second. The second uh, caveat here would be this, that if you're in a business where you can 10x quickly, then go for it. Now, I don't want to disparage you again. Uh, if you're in an FBA kind of business, a fulfilled by Amazon business, where you just have to drive a bunch of traffic and you don't have to have a lot of infrastructure, you don't have to keep a lot of inventory, you don't need a lot of people, et cetera, um, it is easier to scale. So there's some businesses you can scale faster, but for the vast majority of businesses, you can't 10x very fast. And so I'm going to suggest there's a better path, and that is to think 2x instead of 10x. So if you're interested, let me give you a couple reasons why 10xing is probably not as good as 2xing. The first is, very few companies are actually 10xing. Very few are 10xing. Uh, I don't know about your personality type. I'm an INTJ in Myers Briggs. So the end part of me loves the whole idea of 10xing, right? The intuitive part, you know, let's just go big, let's go fast, let's go for that. But the T part, the thinker part, is always looking for objective data to verify what I intuitively like. And when I look at the data, the data suggests there are very few people that are actually 10xing. So let me just give you some data points that will hopefully help you understand this. If you want to be on the Inc. 5000 list, that sounds like a good thing to be on, right? The Inc. 5000 list. And you were to check number 5000, you would see that they grew by 55%. That sounds reasonable, except that's over three years, cumulative. That means that that number 5000 company grew by 16% per year over three years. That doesn't sound like 10xing, does it? Now, here's what's more fascinating. There are roughly 30 million companies in the US, 30 million. Six million of them have employees. So let's not worry about the 30 million. Let's just focus in on the six million. And I know everyone doesn't like doing math, so let me do the math for you. And it's really simple math. If you take 10% of six million, that's 600,000. If you take 1% of six million, that's 60,000. So I'm trying to make math simple here, 60,000. So if you're in the top 5,000, you're not just in the top 10, you're in the top one tenth of 1% of the companies in America. So again, you don't have to do a lot of math to figure out that if you're in the top one tenth of 1% by growing by 16% per year, that means that 99.9% .9 of companies are not growing faster than 16% per year. Now you might think, well, not everyone applies for the Inc. 5000. Okay, let's 10x that number. Still, that's less than 1%. So over 99% of companies aren't growing by 16% per year. That's not even close to 10xing, right? Uh, the average small business supposedly grows by 8.7% per year. Again, that's an average. So let's just say the typical company is growing by less than that. But let's even be generous. Let's just say that you're growing at 9% a year to make the math simple. If you use the rule of 72, that means that you would double 2x in how many years? Eight years, right? So most companies aren't 10xing. They're not even 2xing in eight years. So maybe 10x isn't really what's bearing out in the data. 
if we could get more companies like yours to stop thinking about 10xing and just think about how do I double? How do I go from my current revenue to 2x my revenue? So if you're at a million, how do I get to 2 million? Not to, how do I get to 10 million? But let's just get to 2 million first. If you're at 500,000, how do I get to a million? I don't have to worry about getting to 5 million. Just how do I get to a million? If you take your current revenues and you simply said, how do I get to 10 to 2x that? you would be going a lot farther and faster than you're currently going. It would still stretch you, but it's a lot more doable. So that's number one. The, the first reason is because there aren't a whole lot of people 10xing, not even close. Well over 99% of the companies aren't even close to it. Uh, by the way, if you want to hit the top uh, 500, the Inc. 500, you just have to grow a little over 100%, 111% per year. So basically just a little bit more than doubling every year for three years, and you're in, in the top 500, which means you're in the top one hundredth of one percent of companies in the u.s so most aren't 10xing if you can do it great but i think it's a better to shoot for 2x rather than 10x that's number one number two there's a demotivational aspect to 10xing and a lot of people don't talk about this but but if you were to pick one word to describe the average emotional state of the typical business owner slash entrepreneur in the u.s what n one word would you choose i've asked a lot of people so i know what the one word is it's overwhelmed, okay? So if you take an overwhelmed person and you say, hey, why don't you 10X that overwhelm? Is that motivational for the vast majority of businesses? No way. I mean, they're sitting there thinking, like, I am struggling with my 10 employees. You want me to 10X? You want me to think about managing 100 employees? you got to be kidding me. I'd rather have a root canal. Or someone's thinking about, you know, right now I'm spending, I have to every month pay 100K in payroll. i got to... Now think about paying a million dollars in payroll every month. Like, you got to be kidding me. I, I'm not sleeping now. I'll never sleep, right? So there's a demotivational aspect for the vast majority of people when they're business owners and entrepreneurs when they're thinking about 10xing. Now, 2xing is still stress, right? Like, if you are overwhelmed now, 2xing still seems bad, but it seems less bad than 10xing, right? So it's, a, it's still stretching for most companies. But it's less demotivational, it's more achievable, and yet it's still stretching the vast majority of companies that aren't growing even 9% per year. So why don't we be realistic and let's say, what if you were to 2X? Isn't that more doable? If you had to choose between, let's say your payroll is $50,000 a month, and you had to double that and pay $100,000 a month, does that sound better or to you than having to go from 50,000 to 500,000? Absolutely. So that's the second reason why I think you'll you'll find that you won't be as demotivated. You'll actually be more motivated. <coughs> Excuse me. This is actually doable. Like we could actually do this. And then the third reason is the only way to get to 10x is through 2x. Like there's no way to get to 10x without going through 2x. And and 2xing isn't about you just 2x and then stop. The idea of 2xing or doubling is that you have a series of doubles. So the idea isn't that if you're 1 million, you get to 2 million and then you go, well done. The idea is that you get to 2 million, then you go back to the starting point and you say, okay, now that we're 2 million, how do we double that and get to 4 million? And then once you get to 4 million, you go back to the starting point and say, now how do we get to 8 million? And then you go back to the starting point and say, how do we go from 8 million to 16 million? And then from 16 to 32 and then from 32 to 64. And the cool part about it is that it's not only more achievable, but it, it's easier to think about the series of doubles to get you farther, right? Because it's exponential. Now you're taking two to the, a power. So two to one gets you two, two to the second gets you to four, two to the third, the third time you're doubling around, uh, makes gets you to eight, two to the fourth gets you to 16. So by doing that, you're actually scaling faster by focusing on two Xing multiple times and trying to figure out how do I make this big leap from one X to 10 X and then from 10 X then to the next 10 X. Those are just huge leaps. You know, going from 1 to 10 million is a big leap. 10 to 100 million is a huge leap. But if you did it in a series of doubles, a lot more doable for you. So don't think of it as, you know, I'm just going to 2x and then we're stopping. It's a series of doubles. And the more that you double, the easier it gets. There was a pastor back in the last century, uh, Robert Schuller, who wrote a book, I'm guessing probably in the 1970s or 80s. Um, I, I read it a long time ago, so I'm figuring that's around the time frame. And he wrote it, and it was called the Peak to Peak Principle. Peak, P-E-A-K, P-E-A-K to Peak, P-E-E-K. And the idea of the Peak to Peak Principle was that instead of trying to figure out how do you do everything, there, there's a big mountain range in front of you. 
you just have to climb the mountain in front of you. And when you get to the peak, P-E-A-K, then you get a peak over and you get to see the next mountain. And then you climb that mountain. And when you get to that peak, P-E-A-K, you get to peak, P-E-E-K, to the next one. And I think about that way when I think about doubles. You, you don't have to worry about how do I go from 500,000 to 5 million. You figure out how do I go from 500,000 to a million. And then when you get to million, now you're at the peak, you get a peak over. Now how do I go from 1 million to 2 million? And then when you get to that mountain, then you peak over and you go, okay, how do I get from 2 to 4 and then 4 to 8 and 8 to 16? And if you think about that series of doubles, it makes it so much easier to be able to actually get past 10x faster by thinking about a series of doubles than it does by thinking of one big long leap. It's just infinitely easier. So for those reasons, I think that it's so much better for you to think about 2xing rather than 10xing. Now, if you're in the subset that 10x works, go for it. But for the vast majority of companies, and this is why at Biscalers, we just challenge you to think about 2xing. We challenge you to double your income, so uh, your, meaning your revenue right now. So if you're right now at a certain number, pick that number and pick the 2x of that and say, okay, my next goal is to figure out how in the world do I get my company from A to B? So if you're at 2 million, how do I get to 4 million? Don't worry about getting to 20 million. Focus in on how do I get to 4 million. If you could do that, what would that be like for your company? How different would your life be? How different would it be for your employees? How different would it be for your vendors that you use? How different would it be for your community and for your customers or clients, whatever you use? It could be a game changer. 2xing can be a game changer for you. And then once you double, then you double again, and then you double again, and then you double until you no longer want to double. I mean, you decide how big you want your company to go. But it's so much easier to get there in 2xing rather than 10xing. So if you found this helpful, I hope that uh, you'll not only pass this along to some other business owners, but you'll actually do it in your own. Now, if you're sitting there thinking, wait a second, uh, I got the, the point B, the 2x, but like how in the world do I get there? Well, that's another video and actually a series of videos. But what I can do right now is I can encourage you to go to a course I have that's totally free for you. It's called the Three Week MBA, three in the number three, mba.com, threeweekmba.com. And there I give you 21 free lessons on how to grow and scale your company faster. So I'd encourage you to go there, check that out. I think you'll find that helpful. Um, if you found this helpful, make sure you hit the subscribe button, whether you're watching by video or by podcast. And uh, make sure you check in regularly because my commitment to you is to give you regular ideas and insights for you to be able to grow and scale a great company and to do so while you're working less and enjoying life more. So until next week to your accelerated success, Bruce out. P.S. When I was listening through, I realized I forgot to say something kind of important. And that is that when we talk about 2xing, we never talk about the time frame that you get to choose. So if you want to 2x your company in three months or six months, you go for it. We recommend that you always think about 12, 24, 36 months, one, two, or three years. If you want to double in a year, that means 100% growth. If you want to double in two years, that's 42% per year. If you want to grow by three years, it's 26% per year because right? it's compounding. So I would encourage you to pick one of those uh, time frames, either 12, 24, or 36 months. If you want to go longer, you can do that. If you want to go shorter, you can do that. Um, you pick the time frame. The idea is you just double and then you double and you double again. But I would encourage you to think about either one, two or three years, 12, 24, 36 months. Either you shoot for, I want to grow by 100% this year. I want to grow by 42% or I want my company to grow by 26%. You pick one of those and then put that on the target. So you want to 2X by X date and then everything else is just problem solving. So now I'm finally done. Take care. Bye-bye.